Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. I love Bobby to death. Bobby's a good person. You know, I feel like everybody good. Let's be real. Like, I don't have shit bad to say about nobody. But when people pay their hard work and money, I really, really care about that. So when I'm on stand-up tour and I'm selling out these tours and then me and Bobby be able to come together and people are paying their money to come see us, I really want that to get better. I don't want it to be the same. I don't want to take nobody money if you can't get it again. I did stand up before and I'm still doing it. So I understand I'm learning how to entertain a crowd. And it's not the same thing that you get on Instagram. This is real life where people are going to look and they want the energy and they want the feeling. And I feel like Bobby was stiff a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, hey man, let's, let's really, really work on this. Like, and I, I paid script writers, like let's really get him a show. And where she told me, that's not me. Bobby was like, my comedy is me not talking a lot. And I'm like, shit, this is different. Like, you could do that on the podcast, but in real life, this is different. So her comedy was different from what she said, from what, what she wanted to bring to the show, which I can respect. You know what I'm saying? It's not nothing about me getting mad. I'm not saying you're doing nothing wrong. I can't, but I just don't agree with it. I can feel like I don't agree with it. You feel me? The same way she probably don't agree with what I do. So you're not wrong for how you feel. But again, when people pay them tickets and I just feel like and I'm trying to put a production show together and then you're not saying nothing. And I'm up there trying to talk and I'm like, hey, Bobby, Bob. And you're just like this. It was just like it was hurting me because I know people are paying their hard. Like it could be their last money. It could be they don't care about it. Like I got the money. But again, if you don't pay to see something twice. I don't want to do it again. I wanted it to get better, but Bobby was just in her ways of doing it how she wanted to do it. And I was in my ways to do it how I wanted to do it. So nobody's in the wrong when it comes to that. But on my end, to explain to y'all, I just wanted more out of Bobby. I wanted her to dance more. I wanted her to talk. And the audience was, as, hey, the, believe it or not, a lot of people was coming to see her. So like, her fan base is big. A lot of people were seeing her. You know, as much as I'm selling out on tour, a lot of people was coming to see her. So that was a beautiful thing. So I'm happy, like, man, they coming to see her. Like. Hey, this, you can go along with this. Like, you can really make your podcast go live and taking it and bring your other guests on there. But again, she was doing it her own way. And I want entertainment. I want you to learn something. I want you to laugh. I want you to walk away and be like, damn. That was a good ass show. I don't want you to be like. I saw your video. Not going to lie. I was a little shocked. So here's my, my version of what happened. Last year, we were supposed to go on tour. And I backed out last minute because my husband had just left me I just had surgery and I was super nervous going into this because I was not prepared and I text Marco and I said Marco I'm so sorry to do this but I am so depressed right now I literally want to myself he doesn't reply to me and then he unfollows me I woke up from surgery actually to him unfollowing me and not only that in the coming weeks he would go on multiple podcasts and talk about how much he didn't fuck my style of humor. Wow, check it, man. Hey, man, listen, man, it's Boss Talk 101, man. I had to talk about this tour being stopped. It was canceled. Bobby and Funny Marco, great chemistry. Um, when they doing their thing, of course, it's always a treat when two players meet. Now, listen, man, like I said, I really never seen this type of, I've never seen I don't know, you know, I'm trying to find a way to put this, like Funny Marco going at uh, this blonde haired young lady, uh, comedian, it, 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 it feel, I'm trying to feel how this feel because at the end of the day, I never seen this back in the days. You never seen uh, certain people go at certain people, you know, when it come down to comedians doing something together. So this internet has a thing going where it's, developing, inviting new ways and different things for people to uh, have their blowouts right in the front of us. We, and, and so when I looked at this, I, shout out to TMZ for reporting on it. Uh, shout out to Breakfast Club and a lot of others is talking about it. It threw me off because it was like, I've never, you know, and, and, and you know, I don't know if y'all understand what Boss Talk 101 Reviews is, but I can just say whatever I want to say about whatever these uh, so-called comedians, celebrities, whatever they got going on, because I used to do a segment called Rich People Problems, but then I, I changed it 
to this. And this is Boss Talk 101 Reviews. So at the end of the day, when I get text or if I get different, uh, I got different people that work on our team and they send us different things. And this one thing right here pops up this morning everywhere. So we had to talk about it, but funny. And that's just a little uh, explanation for, Hey man, listen, man, it's crazy out here the way things are. And I'm just trying to make sure the channel develop around all of this stuff. So just look at funny Marco having to deal with this woman, you know, She's on stage. If you ever seen her comedy, Bobby is very disconnected. Uh, she asks questions and then there's a pause and hesitation. Funny Marco does the same type deal. He might ask you some off the wall stuff. They might be even going. I've seen his interviews to where they're just going. And, and so I, I never got to see their show, but it's just a way that they do things that I definitely know that it could be awkward. And maybe it just took a toll on Funny Marco to where it became too awkward. But still, it's tough for me to see my boy Funny Marco go at Bobby when, you know, she just, she seems so fragile. You know, she's a, like I said, she's a, a young lady that, that's a Caucasian lady that don't even look like him. And they out there doing their thing together and for him to become critical and to get the mainstream media is weird for me. But so... At the end of the day, she says she didn't even know he was going to do this. And all of a sudden she look up and he's standing by the pool, you know, speaking on the fact of what they're going through and why the tour has canceled without even like reaching out to her. So this is wild. And I had to get my girl uh, reality TV uh, on this with me because, I mean, she's a female as well. So reality TV, you there? I'm here. Hey, I, I really, like I said... I, I, this one here popped up and you being a female, um, you can speak a little more in depth about it. Cause like I said, me is I'm having issues trying to understand how funny Marco is even, you know, having issues out open with this young lady and it throwing me off, but that's my boy, funny Marco, funny as hell, but they both do awkward, awkward, uh, interview. I remember seeing her interview Drake in the bed and she did a lot of different stuff that I had never seen on no podcast, but that's what made me like her. It's the element of surprise. There it is. It was something different. But I, I, I don't know if it's marketing or what, because like you said, they do the awkward stuff because while she was talking, she went into talking about, um, her husband, her, uh, you know, stuff like that. But we already we know we know what happened. But um, I think it's a publicity stunt because I know that he, I know they canceled from. It's supposed to be from May May the tenth to uh, July or something. I know August or something. But he canceled every show except for one. And that's the one he gonna do in Atlanta. So are you thinking that he just stopped it and, and they gonna come back together again? I think they gonna do something. You think they, so? You you think that they planned this? Yes. I don't know about that, man. I don't. I don't see. I don't think it makes sense to plan it because they both they were doing good. The show was selling out, according to he, uh, according to resources. The shows were selling out. He said that he paid somebody to write you know, a script for her and stuff like that. That's what he said now. So. <laughs> I don't know. It's like I said, it's, it's real weird. I mean, they, they two awkward people. So, I mean, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't seen the show or nothing, but to say those two type of people are, I just can't see that. <laughs> it's hard to talk about it. Bobby Althroff, uh, like I said, Funny Marco, they they both dope. They both successful. So I, I don't agree with uh, reality TV on the fact of it's a publicity stunt. I think they can fill those arenas up. I think their presence online make it to where they killing the game. So I don't see no reason to pull a stunt. It don't make sense for me. Of course, it don't make sense to me, but I don't think that they would have to do it. I think they do good filling those up, but keeping the interest of the people, like Funny Marco said, and making people come back because it's a good show, he had a valid point. Because if that show's not good, I've been to the shows, I've taken you, you to shows. If you, if, if you go to those shows and you see a show and it doesn't, you know, 
keep your attention. The next time they come to that city, you're not going. I haven't, I, I, I haven't heard anyone saying nothing, you know, about it, even when it was going on. So I don't know. But they say, I, I, I mean, I say they, you know, I hate saying they say, but it's being said that they are filling these arenas up and that is a show that everybody's coming out to see. But like, like funny Marco said, it's, huh? You know, like are, what do these people know what they're expecting? I don't know what they're expecting. It, it's a lot of, we, we're in a weird space where people are doing stand up and coming to shows. They watched, uh, wild and out. They watched Carlos Miller and uh, DC young fly and my partner, Chico bean. And they, everybody thinking they can do this. There's a lot of people and it's a great idea. It's just, how are you going to come across when you, and, and that's something I'm thinking of doing where you bring people out and they get to see you openly do your thing because they love you so much. It should work. But sometime when you're dealing with these two uh, individuals, it can become awkward because there's a silence there. It's an awkwardness being driven. And I don't know how it comes across on the stage versus being uh, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, on the computer, on, on the Internet. So we'll just see. I'm a, I mean, I'm, I'm, we rambling. You know, I, I just want to say, uh, man, you guys, man, let us know what you think about Funny Marco. Was he right to come out and say something about Bobby? Uh, after all, or, or should he have, uh, you know, not said something, but he wanted to, uh, ex actually let the people know what was going on with it. Tell me what you guys think. This is the first time I've seen some kind of beef like this, you know what I'm saying? So, huh? He won't bother to throw that. Oh, girl, get off of here, man. Hey, man, make sure you tap into the show, man. Boss Talk 101, man. We got a lot of crazy interviews coming out. And also, man, make sure you check out these Boss Talk 101 interviews. Let us know what you think. Man, make sure you share, like, subscribe. Boss Talk 101, what a boss is talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me.